right, hi everyone. Welcome to the walkthrough of our latest app, the Cardiopulmonary Rehabilitation app by PhysioU. You'll see that right here. It will be added to every web app user's uh, repertoire of apps, which is the benefit of joining the web app early. And as you see when you choose the icon, the key cardiopulmonary pathologies or the groupings are now available to you for you to learn about the pattern to read more about the pattern and discover what type of testing should be done and how the patients might present and how to intervene with these patients. So let's take a look. This is cardiac uh, muscle dysfunction or congestive heart failure. Cardiomyopathies are included here. You'll see that you can watch a video of a patient talking about their problem. You'll be able to watch what they present with, the typical history that they have, and match that to the information below. Then you can look at relevant outcome measures. And when you click on these outcome measures, you'll see that it brings it up in the browser so that you have access to the outcome measures. Here in the subjective exam, you can watch a brief subjective exam in its entirety or you can go to the components of the subjective exam and look at each question and the key questions you would ask underneath each particular main question. So you can see there's medical diagnosis, medical and surgical history, their current medications, risk factors, chief complaints. So it helps you to design your subjective exam after you've already painted a picture by watching the clinical findings and watching the patient uh, and how they present. From here, you move on to the physical exam. So here we're in the physical exam and you'll note that there is a key findings video. The key findings video will give you a quick overview of the common examination findings that are characteristic of this patient. We can take a quick look here. Cardiac muscle dysfunction associated with congestive heart failure and cardiomyopathy. On exam, you will find peripheral edema of the lower extremities on lung auscultation, you will hear normal breath sounds with fine or coarse crackles in the lungs. Listening to the heart, you may hear an S3 or an S4 sound. There will be decreased aerobic capacity and decreased functional strength. These examination findings can be found here in the text below. And you'll note that you are going to do a chart review. There is an electronic medical records type uh, visual that will walk you through the key things that you should look for in your chart review and then you'll go into your objective test. Here in your objective test you'll see that the key things that you would be expected to examine where you would likely find impairments to treat are all here organized and high definition video with instructions is available for you to watch and learn. When listening to a patient's lungs and you use the stethoscope, you want to make sure that your earbuds are facing forward and you will be using the diaphragm of your stethoscope. You want to ensure that you listen to both the upper lobes, the middle lobe or the lingula, and the anterior aspect of the lower lobes. Ask your patient to take a deep breath in and out and in and out. Good. And in. You'll note that all techniques typically part of a cardiopulmonary rehabilitation course or what you would use in cardiopulmonary rehabilitation are all laid out here designed to help develop the patterns so that you'll be able to use the right test at the right time. Moving on from the objective test, the matching interventions then are displayed. Here you have patient education, what you would tell your patient related to this particular problem. You have progressive therapeutic exercises, warnings of signs and symptoms for stopping exercise, supine therapeutic exercises and moving from a supine position to a more functional position, and walking home exercise program. And you will see that there are the key conditions 
of which each of these patient presentations, the appropriate examination, and the appropriate interventions are all matched within these patterns. All right, there you have it. It's the Cardiopulmonary Rehab app by PhysioU.